what's going on YouTube, Basic Phone Set here, and this is gonna be a part two in conclusion video review of the Rock Island M206 revolver. Now first off, I'd like to apologize for this video taking so long to come out. Um, you know, I, I know it's been a couple years since my initial video. Um, I, I, I wish I could blame it to COVID, but honestly, I was just putting it off. <laughs> so um, anyways, with that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so I hate to say this, but uh, my experience with this farm hasn't been too great, um, and this is why. So this is actually not the original revolver from my first video. This is a replacement sent to me by Rock Island. So what happened was uh, with the first revolver, um, you know, I took it out to the range. I, you know, I shot it a few times, and um, eventually it was giving me issues uh, with uh, cycle um, timing. Sorry, um, there was it was misfiring. Um, you know, there was a lot of light strikes on the primer. Uh, what was happening was that the cylinder was not locking up before the, uh, you know, before the hammer dropped on the firing pin to fire the round. So, you know, that's what was causing the, you know, light strikes. And also the firing pin strikes on the primer wasn't, you know, perfectly centered. They were off to the side of the primer, uh, you know, towards the outer edge. So that, you know, that also would, you know, create uh, misfires. So I contacted Rock Island, let them know what's going on, say, hey, you know, my gun's having issues. They said, okay, no problem, we'll send you a return label, send the gun back to us. So I sent it back to them, and they uh, unfortunately couldn't fix my firearm, so they sent me a replacement. Now, me being in California, you know, I, they couldn't just send the gun back to me. The, gun, the replacement had to go to an, FF, an FFL, I had to pay a background fee again, I had to wait 10 days again, you know, it was BS, but whatever, got my replacement. And, you know, I wish the story ended there. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the replacement was also having issues. Um, so this time, um, I, I, you could say it was also timing, but um, more specifically, the problem was that when when the I went to go, you know, cock the hammer back or pull the trigger back to fire the gun double action, um, the cylinder would skip chambers. So, for example, you know, I cocked the hammer back right now and that, that chamber should line up with the barrel. Well, what was happening was when I did that before, it would skip multiple chambers, sometimes two or three. Um, so obviously that's not good for a revolver. So I contacted Rock Island, Rock Island, I told them, hey, you know, it's doing this, you know, this replacement isn't working. They said, all right, send it back to us, we'll take care of you. So I did that, a couple weeks later, got the gun back. And that day I got it back, before I even took it out to the range, before I even thought about putting, a, you know, a live ammunition through it, I, you know, decided to, you know, dry fire it, hand cycle it, and come to find out it was still skipping multiple chambers. Um, so obviously it wasn't fixed. So uh, I was pretty frustrated at this point. So I, right then and there, I called Rock Island directly and told him, hey, I just got this gun back literally like not even half an hour ago. Um, I haven't fired it with live rounds, but I did hand cycle it, dry fired it, and it's I could visually see that it's still skipping, you know, chambers. So, you know, what are you guys gonna do? What's going on? They, you know, of course said, okay, we're sorry, you know, send it back to us, we'll take care of you, we'll get it right. So at that point, you know, I was, like I said, I was frustrated, you know, I was kind of just over it, to be honest, you know, like um, I bought this firearm because, you know, I thought it'd be, co I thought it'd be a cool little snub nose to, you know, shoot, you know, mess around with, um, but, you know, even after sending me a replacement, I still didn't have a functioning firearm. So, you know, put the gun back in its case, put the case back in the shipping box and just left the box sitting in my room. Um, and it stayed there for about a year. Uh, you know, I, you know, this was back in 2020. So, you know, COVID, COVID was going on. So I really wasn't like in a rush to like ship it out back to the you know company, especially when I just got it back. So, you know, fast forward to a year, you know, I was kind of taking a look at the box sitting there in my room and I was like, thinking to myself, you know what, let me take a look at this gun, you know, let me see if I could isolate the problem and see if I could fix it. So, took the gun out of the box, you know, was giving, was looking it over good, and I actually figured out what the problem was. So, you see this little guy right here sticking up? That is the cylinder stop, or cylinder stop arm, and that guy is basically, you know, basically pops up and locks into these little 
uh, slots on the cylinder to, you know, obviously lock the cylinder in place before uh, the round goes off. So on this replacement gun, what was so originally what was going on with the cylinder stop was um, if you look real closely, you could see the you know the wear marks from the cylinder stop were from where it travels on the cylinder, and you can see that those wear marks go right here in the middle of that ramp that kind of guides the cylinder stop into the slot to lock cylinder. Well, originally on this gun, the cylinder stop was making contact with the cylinder uh, kind of towards the front of that ramp, so so it wasn't. Uh, being guided down the middle of the ramp it was more towards the outer edge so in turn it was skipping over the little notch on the cylinder and locking into the next one or even two notches down the line so what i did what i ended up when i ended up doing was i kind of uh, uh filed down and smoothed out the cylinder stop arm until it was making contact with the cylinder right in the middle of the uh this ramp here on on each notch so now, so with the cylinder stop now, uh, you know, riding along the the middle of that ramp, it was being guided straight into the notch where it was where it would now lock up. And so ever since then, the the revolver has been functioning flawlessly. You can even hear, you can hear it locks up strongly every single time. It's no longer skipping chambers. And uh, quite recently, I took the. The revolver out to the range uh, shot about i think i want to say 26 maybe 27 rounds through it and each one fired perfectly no misfires um i mean it, it, it worked you know the the gun finally functioned the way it should have out of the box um so with that being said um you know i'm happy that i have a functioning revolver you know um Kind of sucks that you know I had to go through getting a replacement and then working on it myself to to get it to work properly. But uh, again, I'm glad it works now. Um, you know, um, you know, as as far as Rock Allen goes, you know, um, you know, I'm not taking it personally. You know, obviously, you know, all all good manufacturers are going to have hiccups like this now and then. Um, you know, for you know, for those of you that have bought this firearm and have had zero issues with it out of the box, you know. Good for you guys. I'm glad it worked out for you. And I hope that, you know, the gun has served you well and will continue to function for you, you know, flawlessly for years to come. With me, unfortunately, you know, I had to go through a little bit more of a struggle to get it to work, but, you know, it works now. Um, you know, I, I'm sure Rock Island tried their best to, you know, fix the first one and this one when I sent it in, but, um, you know, I'm happy that I was able to fix it and get, get it, you know, working. Um, and you know, again, nothing, nothing against Rock Island. You know, like this isn't this isn't the only firearm I own. I own from them. I have a 1911 that works fine. You know, I haven't had any problems with that. So, um, I mean, yeah. Uh, for uh, well, one thing I did want to mention about this uh, about the firearm is um, I went through some of the comments from the first video, and I know I, I noticed one of you guys asked about using. A speed loader with the bigger plastic grips short answer is yes it will work long answer is it will work with a modification so I'm sure you guys have noticed that my left side grip here is a little bit you know deformed up here in the top left corner you see on the other side it's nice and smooth so in order to get a speed loader to work on this bar on this revolver you actually have to shave off some of the plastic on the grip right here on this upper left hand side um, because what happens is if you don't when you go to put the speed loader in the speed loader actually rubs up against the grip right there and you can't fully seat the speed loader onto the cylinder to release the rounds into the into the chambers uh once you you know once you send off some material there you'll be able to get a good nice seat on there to you know to to use the speed loader properly um you know me like i, I wasn't trying to like, you know smooth it out make it look perfect and nice and pretty you know i just wanted to take off enough material to use speed loaders and then and after that you know i just kind of smooth it out a little bit and then just shot some paint over it so you know um personally for me it doesn't bother me you know i can still grip the gun properly you know the grips still function the way they should so i mean that's all i really care about if it looks you know again like i like i said in my first video it's not going to be it's not a pre-revolver it's not the prettiest one out there but you know, it's 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 meant to just 
fire and you know shoot <laughs> so um i think that just about covers it um you know again uh my personal experience with this with this revolver is you know i had to go through some hoops to um get it to work but it works now and um you know i'm hoping that there won't be any more issues with it um you know but if it had worked perfectly fine out of the box you know i would have no um no bad remarks about it so um you know for you guys that have this firearm um if you have any if you've had any issues with it or not you know drop a comment you know let me know what what your experience has been um so with that being said um thanks for watching and um you know hope you guys have a good rest of your day